G'day collectors, Sci-Fi back yet again with another action figure review and here's one I did not expect to pick up. Didn't think I'd even see it and I was very close to not seeing it so I was short story even shorter. Yeah, going through Zing, seeing if there's anything there, a few things I passed up on and then including the two pack of Yoda and Grogu and then I said I'll get that next time maybe. I'll have someone else have a better look at it first, so I just watched Jesse's video on it. It looks good, I will pick it up, but this was hiding in the background. No, not on the pegs, these are behind glass cases, cause, well, because they're a bit more expensive than the others. So there we go. Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane. How very cool is that? Interesting images on the front there. That one looks weird of Cobb Vanth. Wow, anyway, so there we go. Artwork there looks very good, looks like Timothy Oliphant. And of course, Mr. Cad Bane. Alright, what's it say there on the back there? You can read that if you want. Marshal of Moss Pelagos. Pelago on Tatooine, Cobb Vanthus Trustworthy Leader, Bounty Hunter Cad Bane visits him on behalf of the Pike Syndicate, leading to a fateful confrontation. Can't wait to see the pike one, that'll be cool. I might get two of, two of that guy, so I can put one in my solo collection and one, of course, in Book of Boba Fett with the really decent looking olive green there. Looks cool. And again, now, I was moving this around before. Oh, it stopped. Something was rattling around in there. <coughs> and again, yeah, opening for insurance purposes, because this, reason being, this is what I'm paying for it. Yep, you're reading it right. That's what they cost here in Australia. Don't know why, but they do. Everything's gone up, everything's expensive. Yada yada yada. Let's have a good look and see what they look like. Okay. I'm kind of a bit concerned about this one. We shall see. Anything else? Painful. Come on out. Right. And again, yeah, looking on the side of the card there. Sorry, never do the side image there. Should do. So, yeah, coming in at six inches tall for both Cad Bane and Cobb Vanth. And with all the accessories, so guns and <coughs> firing. Effects. What is this? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, really? Lots of adhesive tape. Certain things just really don't want to come off. All right. Let's just do this quickly. Actually, they all seem to be intact. I'm going to pause it. All right. So. Let's see, you've got all the weapons and everything you get here. So, a pretty looking sturdy flame effect for Cad Bane. Fire effect and fire effect. Right. And two Cad Bane pistols. Alright, where's Cobb Vance one? Don't know. It's not in there. There's your figures. Again, more rustling paper. Star Wars paper. What the? All right, this is weird. Okay. Let's hope this is going to fix itself up. I do like this figure. I need to look around. What is going on? Oh, there it is, wrapped up in bloody paper. Look, you can throw that thing away. All right, and oh, more hidden in paper. Is there more? Yes. So Cad Bane's hat was wrapped up with Cobb Vance's pistol. Yeah, okay, that was yeah, not well thought of, was it? 
Okay, one more figure to go. Sorry, this is just bizarre. I'm happy so far, so good. Right, let's have a look at Cobb Vanth. That image looks way better than that image. Yeah. Yeah, looks much more like Timothy Oliphant, and especially there, even on the box set there, on the artwork. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there we go. That looks pretty cool. And my mother, my brother, and my wife think I look a little bit like this guy, Timothy Oliphant. Ah, oh, eye of the beholder, I don't know. Anyway, so there's his gun. Looks all pretty good. I'm not going to go through all the... Yeah, it was this whack. That was weirdly boxed. That was really packed. A strange <coughs> orange looking... Holster there. That's weird, isn't it? Very loose. But they're meant to be. They're meant to be like... Gunslingers have a really low holster, don't they? Anyway, that looks cool. <coughs> Missing, of course, his Mandalorian, aka Boba Fett's outfit. He gladly handed that over. Very cool. A loose scarf. Not much else, but hey, this is what he looked like in the book of Boba Fett. I'm pretty stoked with this one. I like it. Very cool. All right, let's have a look at Mr. Cad Bane. So there he is. Wow, I think I think they did a really really good <coughs> version of him in the TV show. Nice little silver skull cap there. The hoses. His hat. I think his hat in. I think his hat in this show was a little bit shorter brim, not as wide brimmed as the one in the TV show. I don't know. Let me know whatever you guys think. Fits on nicely. If I can get some good images there. How close can I get him? No. It looks good though. Different outfits that he had. I've got the old Clone Wars one. He came with Toto. And there is a 3751 coming out. That's cool. Again, the guns are blazing. Do these things fit in nicely? I don't know. Oh, they would, yeah. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And of course, there's really bright blue wrist gauntlets. Aha. Uh -huh. You can choose either either arm you want to for this. So, there we go, that slots in like that, or the other arm, whichever one you wish. That works out quite well, it's quite sturdy, sturdier than some of the other 6 inch flame type troopers we've seen in Mandalorian, and so on and so on. That is actually one of the best sturdy <coughs> flames I've seen in any figure. All right, very cool. Very impressed with that. It's not impressed with the packaging. I nearly lost my shit back then. Yeah, proper gunslinger pistol. The trigger is not, but a trigger guard. That's a gunslinger pistol, all right. That's, yeah, so there we go. I like this pack, but yeah, for what you're paying for it, that's why I had to get out of the box on camera. Da, 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 da. Does he stand well? He's got not much paintwork around his feet and ankles. Didn't I think the Clone Wars one had a bit more different paint apps on him? That belt buckle there, that looks good. Yeah. He's cool, he's mean, he's awesome. I like it. Very good. Alright. Okay, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, 
um, yeah, are you going to pick this set up? Or are you going to wait for it to go down in price? I was thinking of it, but there wasn't many around. Well, I only saw the one in the case. I was going to say on the pegs. They're in a glass case. Um, so, yeah, maybe, I don't know, they'll stay at that price for quite some time. I don't know if they'll ever bend and go down in price. Depends. All right. There we go, hitting over the 10 minute mark, definitely. Okay, a little bit of a strange opening there. Very strange indeed. Um, let me guys know what you think. All right. And there we go. Sci-fi out. Won't be another one for quite some time. So we'll see you very, probably around the 20th of July sometime. Yeah, when the other ones come out. All right, so sci-fi's out. And the force is with you. Always.